Hello everyone and welcome to another Hackerlate how-to video. In this video I'm actually going to do a sequel to the previous video um, that was all about how we can use the Hackerlate command line interface to reverse engineer a data model from a particular target, in that case a particular uh, Postgres database. Right? Um, by using that um, uh, system we actually ended up with two data models, right? We had one that we created manually and the other one that we created through the CLI. Now let me open up the CLI version of it because I've actually made a small change to that data model. I've removed the language entity from the film over here, right? Which basically is a change, a fundamental change to the uh, data model that we you know, may or may not be able to detect automatically, right? Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do a comparison of the two models. Um, the left model will be uh, my um, manually created model, which I created with the tool, and the right-hand model will be the one that I created with the CLI and which I adapted afterwards, right? And the uh, language um, entity from, right? And uh, I should actually add here that the order of these two models, uh, left or right, is very important, right? Because if you put one model or the other model to the left, you know, or vice versa, you would actually get very different um, delta models and very different operations to go from one model to the other. The difference between the models would actually either be a creation or a deletion, right? Depending on the order of these two uh, models. So, but let me do that manually here. I'm going to compare and it, it does detect that there has been a change in the language entity. And what I can do with Hackerlate is I can generate this Delta model, right? Which I'm going to do uh, here as well. So it's the uh, CLI model Delta that I'm going to create, right? I'm going to do this as a JSON document, right? And it's going to be, um, it's going to be generating that uh, Delta model for me and I can then immediately open that and take a look at that over here in my Hackerlate client and then you will see exactly what it is, right? The language has been deleted, right? The language entity has been deleted and I can then um, also look at the um, Postgres DDL alter script that has been generated by the client so that I can then, if I wanted to, automatically execute that in my uh, Postgres uh, management console. Now, the interesting thing here is that I can also do that exact operation just like I did it today in the uh, Hackerlate Studio client. I can also do that in my uh, command line interface. That's exactly what I'd like to show you now. I'm going to switch to that command line interface and show you how I can execute a few commands and then um, do exactly the same operation. So let me then uh, find my terminal and then I'm going to paste the script, right? So this is exactly the same command, but instead of doing reverse engineering, it do, it's doing a comp model basically a comparison between the manual model and the CLI model that I have in my directory and it's going to generate the delta model um, dot JSON file for me. Right, so again, this is exactly the same thing as what I was doing with the tool visually, but now through a script, right? Something that I can put into a pipeline, so something that I can trigger automatically. Um, and now all I need to do is go back to my tool, open the model, the open the Delta model, that's this one over here, right? And you will see that it contains exactly the same thing, right? There's a language deletion here, and we've also generated the DDL script. Right, so that's it. Uh, I wanted to show you that and I hope that it was useful. This was the second step of our um, CLI uh, video how-tos uh, where we showed you how you can take the reverse engineered uh, model from before and do a model comparison and do that also automatically using the CLI. I hope that this was useful and I wish you a wonderful day.